What's up guys, that racing game guy here, back in Forza Motorsport 6 for today. Um, Tomcat and one of our friends, Austin, who you guys have seen on the channel off-roading with the old J10 before, they've been kind of challenging each other at Watkins Glen, saying who can get the faster time with an A-class car, uh, that's a performance index of 700. So, not the fastest thing ever, but it's a very decently fast car, kind of like a, a mid-level kind of class. Um, Austin was using the AMC Javelin, uh, Tomcat was using, of course, the GT86, and I am also using the GT86, as you guys can see. Now, I built this car, I couldn't get it all the way to 700, I got it to 699 in A-class. Uh, basically, I turboed it, I didn't do anything to the drivetrain, and I didn't do an engine swap. Put, you know, a splitter and a wing on it for some downforce. Uh, put very lightweight wheels on it. Uh, I think these are some of the lightest wheels that you can buy in the game. Of course, I upgraded the tires and everything, all the, the tire widths and everything. Upgraded the drivetrain completely, upgraded the platform and handling completely, and actually I was going to add a roll cage. I forgot about that. I was going to add a roll cage. So this is all fully upgraded now, uh, full weight reduction and everything. As far as power goes, I only upgraded it a little bit, uh, as you guys can see here. Let's see, I only have 333 horsepower. So, I have a decent amount of power for this little car, but still not, like, still not an outrageous amount of power. It's it's definitely not fully built. It's just, it's turboed and it's mildly upgraded. Uh, the weight, 2,300 pounds. 2,308 pounds. Uh, just so, like, extremely light basically best I could run on Watkins Glen the other day when I wasn't fully used to this car yet was a 205 now that's a kind of I feel like it's kind of an average time on that course for this kind of a car Tomcat and Austin Tomcat I believe got a 159 point something Austin Austin got it down to a 158 the other day. In all honesty, I do not think I will be able to beat 158. Uh, let's see. Let me let me check real quick. Let me look at the exact times if I can find it. Yes, uh, Austin got a 158.774. Tomcat's best time is a 159.089, so it's barely faster, but today I'm going to see if I can go barely faster than that. Do, do I, am I confident that I'll be able to? If I'm going to be completely honest, the answer to that is no. <laughs> um, just putting that out there, being completely honest with myself, I do not think I will be able to run much faster than the 205. Not yet, anyway. Not yet, anyway. Maybe, you know, with more practice, practice makes perfect. So, with more practice, I may be able to. But, we're gonna try. And, I mean, that's that's the whole that's the whole thing. You don't know if you don't try. If I were to sit here and settle for the 205 and say, well, that's the best I can do, I'm never gonna run any better. A bit sluggish off the line there. Bouncing off the rev limiter a little bit. These car these curves right here you don't really have to slow down for. These you can just kind of throttle through them. As long as you can control the car well. Do not go in the grass because that grass will pull you. That grass does like to pull a lot. Now I'm not too worried about my first lap. My first lap, the starting lap, is not going to be the fastest lap. 
It's kind of a warm-up lap. Just uh, being kind of reminded of the track, kind of a, a refresher, getting used to the track again. Since, you know, I played it last night a lot. Uh, I was using an 07 GT500, and the fastest time I could run with that was a 207. And that was, like, with a very clean run and everything. Like, that was the absolute fastest I could run with the GT500, was a 207. And I kind of settled for that. I didn't think that car was going to be able to run much faster. Just because it's, it's a muscle car. It's a V8. It's a heavier car. Jeez, I need to shift. It's a heavier car, so... I didn't think, you know, I felt that it wasn't the best car, and even if I did get it faster than 207, there's no way I would be able to get that car down to 158. <laughs> that blow-off valve, though. Doing okay on time. I'm not doing terrible. Now, I haven't driven this car with the roll cage yet either, so that... The roll cage actually does improve handling, kind of adds some reinforcement. But now, now I'm going to shut up and concentrate on driving, otherwise I'm never going to beat the time. Let's see, try and follow that line as much as I can. I know the line's not quite perfect either, but it is a very, very good guide. Into fifth gear. Ah, off course just a little bit. Kind of running over those rumble strips. Just clip the corners just a little bit, try and get around this track just a, a hair faster. I'm also still getting used to all the shift points in this car. Got a perfect turn on that curve. Try and keep traction and not drift. Ooh, that was messy. That was really messy. Again, still getting used to those, uh, those shift points. Ah, I'm well above two minutes on this one. Above that 205. Ah, man. Try again. Trying to keep my lines as clean as I can. Trying to make full use of all my apexes and everything. I'm making good time on this lap. So far, anyway.
not at that 158 mark. See if I can get it below 205. Ooh! Below 205! See, that's the goal, to keep lowering the time until I get it as low as I want it. I knew I could beat that 205. I knew I could. It's just... It's still not where I want it. I'm gonna try... I'm gonna try a bit of a retune. Let's see, let me restart that. Okay, so I got the one... I got the 204. 204.8, so it's a high 204, but it's still a 204. I mean, if, you know, if you run 204.999, it's still a 204. Let's see. Tune setup. See, I have my tire pressure where I want it. May actually lower it just a hair in the rear. Gearing. I don't want to turn it up too much, because then I feel like I'm going to break traction a lot. But I can turn it up a little bit, see if I can't kind of shorten up those gears just a hair. Actually, let me just go ahead and set it to 410. That's that's what FRSs and BRZs and stuff come with anyway, is a 410 gear. Let's see, I'm going gonna, gonna to run negative 3 degrees camera in the front. Anti-roll bars. Might soften them up just a bit, just a tad. Let's see here. Bump stiffness. I'm gonna soften that up for those rumble strips. Maybe they won't slow me down any. Cornering. Let's see here. Not quite sure what I want this set to. I don't know what I want my differential set to. Let's do, let's do that. That's what Tomcat told me he uses. So I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna do like a starting lap and then I'll do one more lap and see, see what we can do with a little bit of a retune. A little bit, just a minor, minor retune. Alright, I feel like my cornering is already a little bit better. Alright, let's see here. Into sixth. I do use ABS, that is the only assist that I do use. Ah, I cut corners there a little bit. Alright. I never worry about the first run too much because I know it's not going to be my fastest run. It's just kind of a warm up going around the track, adjusting to the new tune. Adjusting to the new tune, to the new gearing, all that good stuff. Ah, way off course there a little bit. That's going to slow me down. I need to not do that in my next lap. I think the fastest first lap I ran, actually that was a 209, so that's my new fastest first lap, I think, and I messed up. Oh, I messed that up big time. 
Ah. Ah. So much for this being my fastest lap. I just, I, I screwed that up big time. Well, I'll just, I'll go around this lap and then I'll see what I can do next lap. Try to keep it a little bit cleaner in through here this time around. Cut those rumble strips off a little bit, but I don't want to get into the grass really. Turbo GT86. No, stop drifting! Okay, so I'm <laughs> too fast for second gear, but not fast enough for third gear. The struggle. The struggle. Oh, I messed that up. I messed that up big time. Alright, my next lap is going to have to be cleaner. This lap... Oh god, this lap is not... This is a... Wow, this is one of my messiest laps. Other, other than starting laps. That I don't really care too much about. So I don't really try as hard. God, this is messy. Messi and I'm still not making horrible time. That was a 206. Let's see what I can do. I'm gonna really be pushing my limits on this lap. It's getting intense. It's getting really, really intense. Ooh, cut that a little bit more than I wanted to. Good time so far. Actually, I'm making about average time, unfortunately. So I think this is going to be another 205 run. That was a bad shift. Come on, come on. Ah. Yep, another 205 run. I called it <laughs> another 205. Man, so lowest to date in the GT86 is 204.8, which I'm I'm happy with it, but it's still not where I want to be at. I would like to at least get to like I don't know if I could get it to two minutes flat, then I I would be very happy. But that was uh, beating Tomcat's, or trying to beat Tomcat and Austin's time. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave me a thumbs up. Comment down below what you think. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below. Thank you guys for watching.